Good evening, friends. Happy Giving Tuesday 2018. I'm sitting here by the light of my desktop computer at the Hersey House, home of the Mount Pleasant Area Community Foundation, to give you a quick update on where things stand for our efforts to buy a building to make the Strickler Nonprofit Center a permanent resource here in Isabella County. I would love to be able to give you an exact dollar figure for what was raised via Facebook and online today for the Strickler Center campaign. Unfortunately, financial transactions sometimes take a little while to process. We've been in touch with Facebook and they assured us that we should know the information we need in the next couple of days. But I did wanna share with you that I think we are really close. What I can see on my computer screen tells me that we've hit some major milestones today. The Strickler Nonprofit Center page reached more than 500 likes today. We can see that more than a dozen of you out in the community started fundraisers that benefit the community foundation's funds specifically for the Strickler Nonprofit Center. We can see hundreds of shares and likes on social media. I can tell you that people have been calling us and asking us to verify that their gifts were received or whether or not they qualified for the Facebook match. And so I want to be able to answer all those questions and I hope to be able to do so soon. But in the meantime, I just wanted to encourage you, if you haven't given to the Strickler Nonprofit Center Fund at the Community Foundation, there's no time like the present. You can still make a donation online by going to our website, mpacf.org, or if you'd like to go and give via Facebook, go to our Facebook page, the Mount Pleasant Area Community Foundation's page. And if you give there, your donation will actually avoid all the fees associated with credit card processing. So either way of giving is great. And you can always come and see us here at the Hersey House, or you can mail us a check as well for the Strickler Center Fund. I have received a few questions today from folks who want to know what happens if and when we exceed the $1 million goal to buy a building. Well, I can assure you that as with any purchase of this kind, there are going to be some repairs that we need to do when we take over the facility. And of course, we always want to think about long term. It's kind of what we do here at the foundation. So we will endow any resources that are raised in addition to the amount that was required for the purchase and the legal documents, etc., associated with the transition of the building. And so that endowment will continue to be a steward of the resources entrusted to us for the benefit of the Strickler Center. And so I can assure you all that we have the best intentions in mind. So there really is no possible way that your donation isn't going to make an impact here in our community in Isabella County and to support the organizations that are really working with those struggling with poverty. And I want to thank you all so much who have given, who have supported us online, who've shared, who have been Facebook ambassadors for us on this awesome day of global giving. We've been able to leverage that global day of giving and do something pretty fantastic here locally. I can't wait to give you a final figure. In the meantime, I just want to say thank you again so much on behalf of the six organizations who have been working really hard to raise funds to be able to buy a building. The Strickler Center is going to become a permanent resource here in our community, and we can only say thank you, thank you, thank you.